Bad Hunter Izzy in this motherfucker. What's up, Brody? What's good, dog? Shit. What the fuck is going on? None. It's like, no, you know, everything going on. Like, it's just, you know, it'd be a lot of politics. It'd be a lot of, um, it'd be a lot of staying out the way, trying yeah. to dodge bullshit. Like, yeah. you know, like when you really doing certain things, as you see, like you got to move a, a certain type of way. Yo. And it, yeah. Just, this shit the most dangerous shit in the world. The industry. Or making music, period. Because you talking about shit. I seen um Lil Duval say, he like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Like one thing I can say about this generation, they really living what they rapping about. Mm. These are, my my generation ain't live that shit. I can't really say that for everybody, but niggas really doing that shit and they gotta be careful because that's all they doing now is looking at niggas. It's crazy you say that, bro. Um we was having a conversation a while ago. I was talking with somebody and they was saying, um, I was saying like Internet shit is crazy Like these niggas Really ain't about that But it's like Niggas is really about that Now they just Can't promote it mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying Cause I used to always like You know being an older nigga Niggas talk shit about The internet niggas And shit like that Yeah But niggas like bro Nah niggas are still doing shit They just Probably not the smartest with it But they ain't have internet Back in the day When niggas exactly. was doing shit Exactly So like that shit It's like the thing is With our generation Like they don't know How to separate the internet From, from their real life mm. So whereas though like I be telling niggas like I'm really a young I'm 25 But it's like At the same time I think way above my time Because I only hung With niggas older than me mm -hmm. So it's like A lot of times I might be about to Take a picture on the gram And I'm around 20 killers Like niggas who really Stepping on shit for real And they be like I don't, uh, Oh Don't get me in a picture Like don't put me in your picture I, be like, I used to take it personal Like damn She don't fuck with a nigga yeah. And they be like Nah like You know for a fact if something happened, I'm going to be the first one to step for you. And yeah. I don't want my name connected to none of that bullshit. Damn. So motherfucking being around them type of people really let me realize, like, some you just got to separate some shit. Like, I don't, I damn near deleted damn near all my pictures on the gram. But I just went on the gram the other day and was like, really, mentally, I'm at my lowest. But I'm really only saying this on the gram because people only going to promote when they at their highest. Whereas mm. though it be having the young niggas suicidal and... Thinking they got to keep up with this shit, but really, they don't know. A lot of niggas really be in the same space they is. They just looking like they doing better. Yo, you know why I love having these conversations with niggas, and and especially, um, I say like you that like niggas that's, you know, that been in the streets. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna say if you still in the streets, but niggas that been in the streets. I love having these conversations because it shows you that it's more than niggas that niggas see on the gram, right? Yeah. They see niggas on the gram. They see the videos. The shit you rap and shit like that, so they only associate you with a certain type of lifestyle. But you really, you hear me? Just like all of us, for real. Definitely. And, any, and anybody who run across me can can vouch that I'm as human as they come. I'm the first one to be like, somebody might come to me, oh da da da, I love your music, blah blah. blah. I see you busy. I'll be like, what? Oh, you love my music? Come on, let's take a pic. Let's do mm. something. You feel me? Yeah. Da da da. I'm the first one to reach out and say, let's do that because at the end of the day. I'm really only doing this shit to to share a story, and I started rapping because I wanted to have something to listen to with my niggas, because we knew we wasn't bluffing, mm. and we didn't want to listen to the niggas that we thought was lying. So I'm really doing this shit so we can have something to listen to. You said you at your lowest right now. You said you posted that mentally. Mm -hmm. Why um Why you think that? Um, I just feel like I'm not where I'm at. I'm mean, I'm not where I want to be at. I take so many L's. Literally, just came from a funeral today. Rest Man, in peace, thirteen. Yeah, rest in peace, trays. <sighs> obituary in my pocket, like niggas who near and dear to me, like is dying, and I'm not where I want to be at mentally, and it's hard to deal with certain shit. Like it's hard to deal with certain things when you supposed to be looked at like the one who's supposed to be strong. Mm -hmm. You supposed to be the one who oh that shit don't phase them. Da da da. You got to smile through everything, and really like who can you cry to? Yo, you know it's crazy. I asked uh, Roddy on here in the same building. I was like, "Yo, a lot of niggas depend on you." Yeah. When the last time you cried, and he was saying, "Man, I was in a Lambo truck, and you know, I just realized that I couldn't get my niggas to come with me." You feel me? And that shit hurt, and that's why he said he had to come back to the city to get his niggas out. That's the thing. Like me and my niggas, we gotta understand that. Whereas though, like, if I was in position to bring you wherever the fuck you need to be, you know, I'm first to do it. Mm -hmm. Like. I don't mind 
if I'm up 10 million right now, giving everybody a million and we all be in the same spot, but we just in a better spot. I don't mind doing that, but they accept the fact that I'm not in a place where I can do that yet. So it's like, it's, it's hurtful to, to motherfucking see me. I might live in Atlanta, five bedroom house, four, 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 four ba- um, bathrooms. But we, I rem- my niggas is still in the trenches. They not in the same position where we all sleep on the floor no more. But motherfucking, they still out there hustling every day, day to day, day to day, running into niggas and doing a whole bunch of shit. So it's hurtful. And you got to sometimes come back and see that shit and tap into a different mental where it's though this where I came from. Because you get to, you lose yourself. You lose yourself when you go out in them other states and shit. Like when I live in Atlanta, I've been living there for damn near four years now. And it, and no matter how dangerous it is for me to be in Baltimore, like this is when I'm my happiest. Like genuinely my happiest. Bro, I, I'm getting tired of having this damn conversation. <laughs> Yo, like I feel like we all feel like that. You know, I moved to Atlanta now. I've been there six, seven months now. I didn't even know that. Congrats. Yeah, appreciate it. But you know, uh, I talked to Chino. Chino was like, you know, he he was in LA and he was he ain't feel like home. Everybody said Roddy it's hard said to feel at home in LA. Bro. Yeah, I mean it's weird, a bunch of weirdos. But yeah. Roddy cool. said he went to yeah. Roddy went to LA. It's but. Same question. Baltimore being so fucked up, and we see all the the hate in the city. We see all the killings. What what's keeping us trapped? Like why why is it so hard to let go? Kinda? I feel like it's a mindset. Whereas though, we grew up around it. Mm. We we really excel past it. Whereas though, don't phase us. So it's like we could go somewhere else and nigga could hate and be like, oh, we desensitize a, a lot. Yeah, of Yeah, we desensitize. That's mm. a perfect word. We dis, we desensitize to it. So it's like. It really don't affect us. We yeah. take the love out of situations. And that's mm-hmm. how we, I feel like we do with every situation. We know how to read character. Coming from Baltimore, you know how to read nigga character. You could be like, <laughs> nah, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo ain't really, yeah. You could, a nigga come around talking all that bullshit. He done did this, this, and I'd be like, <laughs> I, and, I, and nigga play it all the way to the left. Like, oh, for real? That's what's up. Facts. Keep it moving. Because I know who, niggas who really do that shit, they don't move like that. You just a dumbass nigga. Right. You coming around me, you don't know me talking about you do this, this, and that. You a fool, my nigga. Because now I feel like you a threat. And if I want to, I can get you out of there. Mm. But it's like, hey, I just feel like in Baltimore, you desensitized to a lot of shit where so everybody from here, we cut from, we, everybody not cut from the same cloth, but the shit look alike. And motherfucking... You could vibe here the most, whereas though you run into you can run into a goofy, you can run into a motherfucking um a bitch, a bum bitch, a bad bitch, a real nigga, a bitch ass nigga, mm-hmm. and you they still know the basics of the hold on, you know don't play with him. Exactly, it's crazy because like like you said, even a I don't know the the, the lamest nigga or, or the nigga that ain't the thoroughest probably still have some type of a different understanding than. One of the tough niggas in a different yeah, in city. a different place. <clears throat> yeah, it's because, crazy because like they mindset different. Yeah, it's crazy. Yo, what well, um, I feel like you was one of the few that got a lot of love from the city. Where exactly? What part of the city are you exactly from? I'm from West Baltimore. What part? Forest Heights, fifty two hundred. What's that? What's that? Like Forest Park area. Oh, Forest Park. Okay, yeah. that's like I went to like I went to school in Northwestern. Okay, that's like in there or no? It's it's I mean it's, ain't that's what all that shit. Yeah, it's like, like that shit. Like where I'm from is like right there. Like, man, I went to Dickie Hill Elementary. That's the um. That was like a. Uh, it's like you could walk. Alternative, there. no or no? No, it's no nah, hell no. Nah. I said I heard of Dickie Hill. Like, a lot of people don't really know where it's from. Fifty two hundred, like, but I lived around there when I was young, like mm. elementary, middle. But motherfucking, I started hanging around fucking um thirty hundred with my niggas around like. 14, 15. What's that? You got uh Mount Dominant and Longwood. Okay, okay. So it's like I used to hang around there with them, and that's where I started doing everything mentally. So okay. it's like I could be like, oh yeah, I'm for it. Like, I'd still conversate and talk to all the niggas. I was just with one of them niggas yesterday and shit. I mean, not yesterday, the other day. He came to the A with his girl and shit. You know, I'm showing love. Da da da. I fuck with him because he really one of them niggas who knew me from I was a child. Mm-hmm. But motherfucking all the band hunter niggas, da da da. They from fucking. Thirty hundred, my okay. dog in Longwood, and they, you know, play that side. How was you able to to, to grasp to get the likeliness from the city? Because like you got a lot of love. In this. You know, I, I got a lot of love. I got a lot of hate too, though. Mm. Like a lot of niggas will say like, oh, da da da, this this and that, because they know me from this. But like, so I stayed in the motherfucking forest heights, then motherfucking started fucking with the Longwood niggas. But then my parents split up. 
And my mother, she moved to like the Edmondson area. Okay. And my father moved to Owens Mills. So my first year of high school, it was straight going from the city to a county. Okay. So it's like as soon as I go to Owens Mills, I don't know nobody. But motherfucking people, you know, people that know me from the city or people that start to learn me from the city, like, oh, he go to that school, da da da. But really, I'm not tripping about that because there's niggas who paint shit and step on shit. In the county, yeah, I don't give a fuck about no <laughs> like, we ain't about that. this, this, and that, nigga. I'll, you get around me, it's gonna be the same vibe because I'm not stressing about none of that shit. But you know, I did everything I did in everywhere, and it can't be taken from me. So you think that was that's one of the things that niggas chat about? I guess yeah, yeah, people chat about that, but I ain't, I ain't tripping about that. But what really solidified the love is the fact that I was authentic with shit. Whereas though. You can't run into nobody who could be like, oh, he lying. Mm. Like, you could think I'm lying if you don't know me. But you can't run into nobody who actually know me and go be like, no, nah, he a bluffing ass nigga. Mm. Because anything that I ever said, I done it. Or anything I've ever said, I've been around it and witnessed it. So it's like, you know, and but, you know, it's like, no, nah, I'm lying for the, you know. Yeah, you got Yeah, you got to be careful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm lying. This, this shit for entertainment, man. Entertainment yeah, purposes no only. Bullshit. Let me ask you this, though, because we can't, and it's funny that we stumbled into this conversation. We can't ignore, like, I feel like nowadays, I don't get that whole city county thing. Back in the day, I used to get, like, niggas from the county, they ain't nothing. But I feel like a lot of niggas is promoting that county. It's so, like Yo, Creek Boy started that whole new I ain't movement. I'm going lie, bro. Like, I know some county niggas that. That say, bro, I'm from the county, this, this, and that. And they more thorough. Yeah, niggas the rapping the county Because it don't matter where you're from. At the end of the day, you could be a stand-up nigga, you can't. Yeah, Like, fact. it's just not in you. <laughs> I mean, like, fact, that's, man, that's a fact. Like, you a bitch or you not. Simple that's what that. I was saying. I feel like... Uh, I know a nigga from motherfucking Owens Mills, Randallstown, Milford, Woodlawn, all that shit that a step on any motherfucking city nigga you bring around. Because mm-hmm. that's what y'all respect. That's what y'all, oh, he done killed the most niggas out of that. Well, I know this bitch ass nigga that you see because he from the county that will step on your man. So how about that? I, I mean, if you're going to be technical, though, let's be honest. I hate to say this, but it'd be a lot of the bitch ass niggas that's killing niggas. Yeah. And that's a whole different situation. Whereas, though, a lot of niggas get killed and you be seeing it on the news. Oh, da 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 da. But some people got to realize niggas ain't getting killed for nothing. Mm. It'd be the bitch ass niggas who motherfucking, you know, they can't fight and they get their ass whooped and they kill somebody. Now, now, now you a bitch. You couldn't take that L. Mm. I'm the first nigga, bro. I don't. It don't matter. I can't say I could fight the best, even though I I, I feel like in my mind mentally I could beat anybody. Mm. I don't give a fuck who you is. Mm. But motherfucking, it be a lot of niggas who can't take that L. Whereas though, that's the bitch ass niggas. But a lot of niggas is getting killed for real reasons. Like, and it's like it's a shame, but at the same time, who's to blame? I just tweeted about that shit. I see all these rappers and shit getting indicted and Ricos and shit like this, and they doing whatever they can to motherfucking um take take gang t- members off the street and shit. But you didn't do whatever you could for me to not be in this gang. Mm. It wasn't no fucking um parks and shit for me to go to where it's safe or no motherfucking little boy group I could go in. You feel me? Like it was some shit. Like okay, these are niggas that I feel like fuck with me, so I'm being a gang now. How about that? Damn, it's crazy that you said that because if you think about it. You're 25. Yeah. I'm about to be 31. When I was young, Taz, you can, I feel like you can uh, contest to this. When we was younger, we had the pal centers for real. It stopped. Our, yeah, that shit stopped, it, bro. It, it yeah, wasn't it, no it, pal it, center. I don't even know what that means. Damn. What the fuck is a pal it did, you, you, pro- a, you had the, right? That's crazy because we had that. Like, and, and, and it's crazy that, you, that we having this conversation. Jill, what up, my nigga? It, it's, it's, it's crazy that. We having that conversation because when we was coming up, we had all the shit to keep us out of trouble. You know what a pile is? <laughs> Damn. You was involved in that shit. Yeah. How, 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 what were you? You was born in? But dummy, Damn. dummy, but Jeez, dummy, like I was born ninety one. Really, like dummy, one of them niggas that you can't take that shit out of. Like he, he always, you know, had whores. That but he always had hoes and shit. He always been in the, the mix, camera's not on him. It's fine. He had, you know, he um was real good at the sports and shit. Like Dummy could have been pro somewhere, mm. but it's like you know, if that shit ain't you, it's in you, right? But it ain't yeah, helped that the power. I never, I never it ain't heard of no power center. Yeah, it ain't helped that that wasn't around. I get what you're saying. You heard the YMCA sports? Yeah, I heard the YMCA. I don't play that shit. 
That's crazy. I don't but play that. I say that, but I say that to say because um, be careful with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what I, I say that to say, this is it brings it full circle to the real conversation, right? Because mm-hmm. you, you know you, you mentioned like yo, we ain't never had that. So I only only where I had the only route I had to go was the gang shit because that they told me they treated me like family. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I say that to say because it was a time where they did take the power centers away from us. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we used to talk about that back in the day. Like, we need these power centers. And I'm not trying to use it as an example or say your life was any worse or anything like that. But I want the niggas that's in charge to see that. Because if you had the opportunity to go in a power center, you might have would have went that way. Yeah, it's always it's always people that will go that route and won't go that route. Mm. That's what people got to accept, first of all. It's always the people that don't want to do right. So you got to separate them from the people who want to do right, but it's some people that want to do right that don't got the opportunity to do right, so they end up that falling was, in the wrong in the wrong was category at. type shit. Yeah, I always I was I was smooth, I was good, I think I was doing good, but motherfucking I had niggas like you know my fucking brother that's in the streets. I had got niggas like his older brother that's in the streets, just around me every day. I'm going to their house every day, so I'm like fuck it, like. Ain't else shit ain't shit else going on. I might as well. So the niggas you pointed to, they older than you. They can't you can't nah, say more camera. It's fine. That's okay. my little bro. Like and I'm not saying little bro like that because his mindset's still at this in the same place as mine. Like he not no young ass nigga mentally because we all came up around the same shit. But he younger than me. So I say that's little bro. But motherfucking his older brother is the reason why. And I'm not gonna say the name, but he a gang. I just but now they can't see that's why I say that I say that I am I'm, I'm having this it's bro. These are the conversations I be wanting to have. Bro. I look at my man's because like these are the these are the conversations that mean something. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. niggas not niggas not hearing this shit from you. You feel me? And niggas yeah. not seeing it. And that's but, why I hit you and wanted to do it because I appreciate like, bro, I gotta that. Gotta get back and I gotta tell niggas how I be feeling and what the fuck niggas be going through. Appreciate that. Let's go back to his older brother, yep. anonymous older brother, right? Mm-hmm. D- I'm trying to how. I feel like those was the guys that should have stirred you in the right direction. No, they always try to stir me in the right direction. And even when I straight say, but I want to be a crip, mm. they said no. But when they see that I'm on a, nah, I want to and I'm consistent with it, like they know I'm not going to let up. I'm not never that type of nigga. I'm always the type of person if I want to do something, I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm going to keep on putting a nigga ahead until he ain't got no choice. All they got the choice. Only thing, this side, I, I look at it like this. I'm the type of parent where it's though when my kids get older, I know it's a lot of fuck shit you could do in the world, but I'd rather you experience it from me or do shit with me like, oh, you, you want to take a drink? You are In your teens, you feel like you're trying to drink with your folks? Oh, I take a drink with you and show you where, at least at least I know it's safe with me. Mm. You might do it with somebody else and they put something in your shit. Mm. You feel me? You be fucked up forever. Whereas though, I feel like they really took me under the wing because they was protecting me at the same time. Like, I know you could go, you could go anywhere and, and be a crip. But I know I ain't gonna lead you on a dumbass path where I had you on a dummy mission, so I might as well do it before you go fuck your life up. Mm. So it's like I felt like he was always that person in my life, in my in my big homie, rest in peace. It's like you made your your decision. He just he just kinda... motherfucking had to make sure I made the made the decision the right way. I mean, it makes sense, even though it wasn't the right decision. No, I get for, trust me in his mind, but he felt like. I'm the strongest guy for a motherfucking. If he gonna do it, I rather him do it. Like five years, I get it. If and he I gonna, still talk to him every day. If he gonna, if you gonna do it, I would rather you do it with me. Like you said yeah, about exactly. your kid. I get it. And you can't yeah. be mad at that. I used to always ask questions like, "Yo, what happened to the old heads?" Because like when I was um when I was coming up, the niggas that was in the streets told me to play ball, but I mm-hmm. guess I was already playing ball. Yeah. So that makes sense. It's like if the nigga if a nigga don't want to do something, he ain't gonna do it. So it's like if you gonna do it, then shit, I rather you be right by me doing it. Exactly. That makes sense. Damn. So, question: I see you brought all your niggas with you. you got like, yeah, like, a couple niggas with you. Yeah. I I ask this shit that this is gonna be my fucking question of every interview. Do you feel like you you downplay your celebrity at all? Downplay my celebrity all the time mm. because I just literally had this conversation with Mac. I'm gonna say his name because it was no fuck shit. I just had this conversation with Mac. We go to the gas station and he like, yo, stay in the car. Like da da da. Huh? Blah blah blah. I wish you need some blacks. I go get it. I know I'm getting out to go get it. And he like, why? Like you need to stay in the car. And I'm like, bro, fuck that shit. I like to be hands on. Mm. But that's how I feel like I downplay my shit because I wanna I want if I ain't gonna lie, God forbid, if if nigga gotta go to jail about this shit, nigga get stepped on, but it's something that I feel like was worth it. I wanna be the hands on person to motherfucking witness it. Cause I felt like it was worth it. But 
if that shit can be avoided, then it can be avoided. But a lot of shit I don't try to avoid. And that's how I feel like I downplay my celebrity. I feel like everybody in here. Let me see. Yeah. I feel like everybody in here motherfucking die. When it like when it come down to it, like they'll be standing front line with me. Yo, um, or they try to stop me from standing front line and put me in the back and, and be in front of me. And that's, and I believe you. And um, just hearing your man, you said Mac, your your, your big dog, he older than me. Yeah, that's what we need. Yeah, like what, like it's a lot of niggas that. It's a situation I got locked up, bro. I got locked up in Dallas for robbery. I'm a fucking. I'm not gonna tell the whole situation, but motherfucking. It could have been avoided if it was just somebody to say, I'd do it for you. Mm. But, you know, niggas, like, and I ain't going to even say niggas, like, because I know the nigga who was with me, my Cody. But it's like, it's a lot of situations that could be avoided if you, you know, nigga put that pride to the side and just be like, I'd do it. But I'm bringing it back to you, man to man. It could be a lot of situations that's avoided if you put your pride to the side and say, now nah, I don't need to be that nigga that, that step up. You know what's crazy though? The reason why I don't put my pride to the side is because I grew up with niggas. Like, it's like I can't even picture myself. Say Jug. That's my blood, brother. Like literally took care of me growing up. Like, nigga, we got the same mother. It's never a situation with me and him in a car and I say, Dummy, can you grab me a black out of the gas station? I'm not never putting him in that situation. Just because I'm not thinking he won't do it, mm -hmm. but it's like we come from the same, we got the same mental. Like he might say, "Bitch, I'm not getting your black," and do it anyway. Mm -hmm. But still, like I'm not putting him in a position to ever think like that because my mindset is, I don't want you to ever feel like I'm on that type. Y'all the same team. Yeah, so I, it's like, nigga, I'm gonna come on. We, if, if something happens, we gonna do it together. Type shit. I get it. We gonna go get the black, and if somebody tries something, we gonna swing on it. We gonna shoot on. We gonna we gonna do whatever together. I get and it. That's how I always been. Like with anybody around me. I get it, and this is no disrespect to nobody in your crew. Everybody here, mm -hmm. I'm dolo. Niggas kick my ass, but I, I, <laughs> I, I say that say I mean what I say. So I, I, I wouldn't hide. I'ma say it to you. Yeah. And who else? Respectfully, I say that in all due respect. Jug is also one of them guys that can't risk that either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like he, for like, sure. and, 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 but I wanted to say Jug just because you know that it's my blood, bro. Yeah, but so I'm like, saying, can't get no close. I'm saying in all respect, like you're a big homie, like somebody that know, bro. This nigga is the prize, bro. He don't need to get in anything. You know what I'm saying? Let Jug me... is a superstar. He's going to make sure you know. And that's what I'm saying. But <laughs> but, and, but everybody not superstars. And that's why I say it respectfully. It. Everybody in your clique not superstars, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm sure. saying? And it don't make that don't make somebody lesser than you because they want to look out for you. That don't make them lesser than you. And I feel like as superstars, we should allow that sometimes, bro. Because we are... Bro, do you understand? You are... You are the prize. Nigga, a lot of thing, niggas look up to you. Look, one thing I had to learn, right? I seen this nigga got it. He made a, a post or whatever. He like, yo, sometimes you could be the boss, but you got to learn how to be the worker too. Like, It's like, say, my man TZ, I'm going to say him. He rap. I'm not going to. I feel like he could rap just as good or better. Motherfucking. But he's not at the place that I'm at right now. He's mm. going to get there, but he's not at the place I'm at right now. But if he had a show tomorrow... I'm going in and I'm not, I don't want to be Izzy. I don't want to be the rapper. I want to be making sure he's good. I'm going to act like his fucking road manager. I'm going to act like his assistant. What you need? Water, bro. You need some black. Da, 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 because I want him to motherfucking flourish in his moment. That's right. So it's man. like everybody just got to know how to play them positions. You the shooter, be the shooter. You the motherfucking runner, get, be the runner. You the little nigga, be the little nigga, learn from us. You the bit dog, then play that position and teach me something. So. I, and I, and I, that's respectful. You can't not, you can't knock that. But it's other ways to do it, right? So if that's your guy, right? Yeah. Guess what? You the closest to get to put anybody on in your clique. You the closest. Yeah. So if you got to, you don't have to be the nigga to get the black. You can hire a nigga. You can hire a security guard to get the black. And I think that's what a lot. We talk about this price. I'm, I'm talking to you, man, and man. We yeah, I fuck all this other. I'm talking to you, bro. Like because what happens is we see the hometown hate, bro. I talk to everybody about this shit from our city, bro. Because mm -hmm. you know the love we got for our city, bro. Exactly. The hometown hate is real. Niggas waiting to take you out. You know what I'm saying? Not not going well, like you said, right? But if a nigga can get that rank up by any means, a nigga will. Hey, nigga pop me. And you take you I hate take to see me in a Baltimore jail. Nigga might hit me. For but no you reason. take you out the equation. It's harder for a TZ to come up. Yeah. It's harder for your nigga to come up. And I'm saying that's why our niggas gotta move smart. Fuck that pride shit. That's just I'm gonna always fight for this because I care about. Damn. We see too many niggas. You feel me? Like in our own city. 
Fuck the pride shit. All pride shit to the side. I feel like this. You, you could always have that standpoint. But when they come around, people, say your family, your mother. Mm. I don't know if you got your mother in your life or none of that shit, but your mother. You going to, something about to happen to her, you going to jump in front. Because mm. that's the type of love you got for your mother. Damn. Me? My family, like, it was good at first, but now it's not no good. So I look at them like my immediate family. So it's like, I'm always used to being in force of a situation or the mediator of a situation. If I feel like, damn, this shit can be done a different way, I'm always be like, dummy, you really want to do that? Just tell you, you really, come on, dummy, you tripping, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. But when I feel like that shit, yeah, I'm going to make sure I'm right there in the front with them because this shit, like, it's that serious. Mm-hmm. But it's only when it's that serious. It's not never no petty shit with me. Like, nigga not about to be face fighting with me unless I'm high or drunk. But nigga not about to be face fighting with me and I'm going to be like, oh, this nigga got to die. Mm. Oh, this nigga must like me or something. You gay? Enough, no offense to the LBT, whatever community. We good, bro. We, yeah. we good. No, I just got to say that because, you know, they a bashing nigga. But motherfucker, it's not. But what, you like me or something, nigga? A nigga might say that, and I got that from Sha. You like me? You know me? <laughs> like, that's, that's how dummy will come. Dummy will straight be walking. Nigga, look at him. You like me, yo? You know me or something? Simple as that. But it's just like, you know, that's all it is. If it's some real shit, you killed my mans. You stole from me. Oh, you, you, you said something about my mans that's dead. That shit really don't be that big to me. You said something about something. You a bitch. You ain't do it. But... You know, other than that, it's just like nigga really moving on real situations. Other than that, we the cool, we not we not in no gangs. Band hunters, that is not a gang. You know, don't recall us. We not we is not a gang. We just some bros who motherfucking got a name because we like to get bands. We not a gang. Don't recall us. We don't do no criminal activity. We don't engage in them. So we don't even own guns. All that shit be props. I believe and the you. money be fake. Nah, I mean, I, I seen the I seen the fake guns and shit. The yeah. money might be real because you, that's, nah, that you get business. Fake. That's business. That shit is fake, bro. That shit going all on the car. Any money <laughs> we got is straight in the debit card. And you can check. We pay our taxes and shit. I thought that shit was all legit. So I thought it, I mean, it was legit. Who <laughs> no, cares? All that cash is fake. Oh, it's fake prop we money? Show cash now, they got some good out. prop money. So I believe like the prop money be good. I can pull good. a dollar bill out right now and it's fake. Yeah, I, I, I believe <laughs> Hey, I'm with you, dog. I'm with you. Yo, how you feel? So we see this Rico shit getting crazy. And you said somebody earlier that like that I thought was interesting because a lot of things where a lot of things at now right now in the mm-hmm. current moment yeah might not be where it started at and I feel like that should mean something so hypo- hypothetically mm-hmm. let's say if you do have a gang hypothetically right yeah and then you turn your life around straight and yet those same letters became a uh, entertainment company. You know what I'm saying? You saving so many people's lives. Look what Nipsey was doing. Bro, Nipsey was like the pinnacle for a crip to become a boss, like working. It's, it, I ain't going to say like that, like, whereas though it wasn't nobody who was doing positive shit that was bigger than Nipsey. But nah, you That's right. Crip. You right. But it's like, he was, the, he was like one of them people that you look at, like, this is a genuine street nigga that will, that will probably slap the shit out you. But... He's being a boss and mm. he's selling clothes and he's buying back property. And then you get a bad bitch and you showing how to a black woman, how to love, a, a, how how to be loved for real. And I don't know what he's doing in his spare time or none of that shit. I don't know. But in public eye, that's all that matters nowadays. You showing that you love this woman and shit like that. Like he was the pinnacle. He was the top. He was the one that you look at like, damn. So for him to die like that, it's like. Anybody, anybody could get it. That's why I feel like I got to move so super militant. Like you said, I got all these niggas in the fucking interview with me. When at the end of the day, it's not necessary, but it's necessary because I'm safe in this interview. But when I walk outside, I don't know what the fuck gonna happen. Mm. I don't know if a nigga gonna look at me and I'd be like, "What the fuck you looking at?" And then he pull out a gun. Now I got twenty niggas right here, ready, ready to. I got you. Fake guns I got BB guns. I got BBs you. I got you. Niggas. I told you they can't see. No, we can't see nobody, right? We good, right? We can't. Oh damn, shit, we got some. I like damn. Hey, no gun in your life. Hey, <laughs> no gun. Not even a gun. None of that right. shit. Nah, nah. I, I, I asked you that because, like, you know, we see this Rico shit getting real. Real as fuck. Like 
they about to take they almost take all our niggas away from us. Mm-hmm. Like how you in the industry now? Like you got some real connects. Yeah, I got real connects for sure. Seeing right. seeing that, it, but I mean, well, you got some niggas that got booked. Yeah, Lucci was your man, right? Yeah, I'm a boy. So, so being so close to this shit and seeing it happen in real life, how is that? How does that affect you? I just, I just, I look at that shit and I be like, bro, every like a lot of niggas in that shit, you know. I can't really speak, like, speak, speak, but motherfucking a lot of niggas in that shit, bro, wasn't even around. Mm. And I fucked with them. And I had to look at that shit like, I'm glad I ain't get grabbed with that shit. Mm. Not, on a, not on a sense where as though I was doing shit with them, just on the sense I was hanging around them, because that's all they locking niggas up for now. Just Boy, being conspiracy cool is anything at yeah, this like, time. God, what's man. up, bro? Oh, they, conspiracy. they a picture of your hand doing this? Conspiracy. Oh, yeah, he's a gang member. Yeah. It's over with for him. What the fuck? Like it's just be the shit like that, but that shit is a saddening situation when when I see him, literally I've seen him doing shit for people around him. Motherfucking make sure you good. Da da da. Oh, everything on him. Oh, this this and that. Oh, come on, I'm a multi platinum artist. Come on, get on a song. I can witness this with me. Get on a song. Come on. Oh, you want a video? Don't worry about. It. I pay for it. Come on, let's drop the video on my page. Shit like that. Whereas though I seen him be a genuine person. And then they got him in a blood, a blood indictment. And he's not even a gang member. Literally. All jokes aside, nigga. You're talking about Lucy. Blood. Yeah, not a blood. Like, he's nothing. He's a civilian. So it's like, that shit be crazy to see. But, you know, you just got to move smart and, and keep the company that you, you got to be around people that's going to, you know, take you further, not not bring you down. Yeah. I'm not saying that, like, anybody around him brung him down because, you know, he's a grown man. He chose to hang around who he hang around. But... Me, that's why I hang around civilians. Everybody civilian, nobody gang members. Nah, actually, not actually, not nobody. Nah, I, I, I gotta I, keep. I gotta keep saying that. You don't have to keep saying that. No, nah, I just want them to know. I mean, no matter, <laughs> bro, it ain't not, bro. You can say that shit a million times. If they think something else, they gonna think something else. I'm just telling you that right now. I want to ask you this though. Being almost there, like we see it. I'm right there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying being almost there, seeing niggas that's there still have their little disputes or whatever like that because we. We hear about it, you know, like we talking about a little beef shit. Yeah, Lucci and Thug and shit like that. I don't know nothing about that. How? But seeing it, I guess, just getting your opinion. I didn't see none of it. Like that shit. That shit. You don't see it on the news and shit. On yeah, Twitter? I see it on the news and shit. Yeah, but I'm saying like me actually being around the niggas. That shit really all made up by the government. That shit. Fake. Oh, okay, fuck it, fuck it. That's like I mean. that shit. I had nobody done. You know, ain't no shots being fired. None of that shit. Like, yeah, that shit fake. Like it's really some you know internet shit. I feel like it's. It's, was, it's 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 a greater purpose to to life. That probably was a that probably was a terrible question. We'll give him what we talking about. No, oh, besides cool. that, besides no, that, like niggas cool. seeing niggas in the industry that's that's beefing, not them, right? Mm-hmm. That's something that we we wish. That's something that you wish for as a kid. Like y'all want to make it to this point. Exactly. Seeing niggas make it to that point, but still having their problems. Yeah, how do you how like do you view that? Be petty. I feel like it's like like nigga. When I become a millionaire, anybody who beefing with me, <laughs> bro, chalk it up. Like, that shit old with. That's what I'm thinking. That shit is old that's, with. That's what I'm thinking, but it's Nigga, don't clearly. try to kill me, bitch. I got a millionaire. You <laughs> like a fly at a cookout. Like, oh, get the fuck away from me type shit. Like, nigga, what? What you do again? That's what I'm acting. That's how I'm acting because not even a millionaire because that's petty. Like, that, yeah. a million dollars is petty. But the I'm niggas we talking about. about 100 M's when me and my niggas, everybody here, we in the motherfucking... Houses across the street from each other. I wish a nigga would come through talking about some. Oh, I'm beefing with that thing. No, you are not, bro. <laughs> Only thing we beefing is with bitches because they can't get off our dick. Facts. <laughs> as simple as that. Like that's the only thing we beefing about. If we don't got no relate, if we not in a relationship, you know, I know some of my niggas got any little situations. <laughs> this, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. I, I don't know too much, but don't you? Uh, ain't my you, folks and shit. Ain't you what? You, my folks and shit. No, you. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I'm talking about my. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Like, that's some shit I got from the A. Like when you call like your your. your yeah, shorty, your, your folks. Your, like, that's my folks. And shit. Oh, that's the shit they do in the A. Yeah, that's some. A I ain't shit. learned that's that shit yet. Shit. I wish I would say some shit like that, we, my girl. We get we an understanding. Uh, okay. Um. How is, <laughs> bro? I, hey, you, you said you wanted to come here. You know I ain't. <laughs> 
I got a job to do, nigga. Like, nah, you gonna really, come in? You gonna think the fuck are we talking girl. about? Like, I love her to death. Like, no this is crazy. No, I love her to death. No bullshit. Um, I love her. That's all right. But it's a lot of shit, you know. I'm. It's like I was saying. I'm 25. I gotta grow up with a lot of shit. I fucked up in a lot of places that I shouldn't have fucked up in. Like what? That's mentally. I can't say like what, but like that's meant. <laughs> but that's mentally, you know. Like I should have been knowing not to do. Like what? Just you know, being me. <laughs> Fuck it. And it's not even being me on that aspect. It's just like you know, a lot of shit. I should have been a grown up about. Whereas though I played it like a child, mm. and but I learned from the situations and I kept it. And I you know. Is this real accountability or you bullshit? Not as real. It's, it's shit that I told her. Oh, all right. Like it's a lot of shit that I fucked up with, but at the same time, everybody's human. No matter how much somebody fuck with you, they can't withstand so much bullshit from somebody. Mm. That's like with one of my niggas. If he keep on doing flaw shit after flaw shit after flaw shit, it's just like, okay, I understand you, I understand you, I understand you. But then it's like, all right, now I'm tired of you. Mm. So it's like, I can't hold nobody accountable for going on with they, you know. When motherfucking, I'm the reason. That's some stand up shit. Yeah, like I, I could, I could. I'm always a person where though I could take the shit to the face, no homo, or that's not even. That was, homo, been, that, was, that, was that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Yeah, I, I could say take no homo. That. I could take it. I could. No, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's you can say no homo. That that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> when I thought about it, how you that, said that it. was bad. That I was, was bad. About literal shit like poop. Okay, like, I, I mean, could take the shit. Like it's like I mean, but it still was bad. It's all good. Just leave it alone. Leave that alone. Leave that alone. Leave, leave that alone. <laughs> it's all good. I could, I could, I, I could, I could understand my flaws. And I could learn off of it. Mm. if if you accept my growth and motherfucking willing to try to new me out, even though it's gonna be flaws and shit too. Then that's cool. But motherfucking other than that, I take the flaws and learn from it and capitalize on a different situation. Is this is he like apologizing and asking for forgiveness? No, I'm not apologizing. I mean, I, it's like, I didn't already <laughs> I'm just saying, if you wish, you could just say it's okay. The thing camera, is, like, I'm not like apologizing for nothing because it's not like I, I really did some shit. Like, I did some shit, but I didn't do some shit. I don't know what you got to make your mind up because I you first take accountability, but you're I'm not. I always leave it up to them to motherfucking get the wandering and shit. You know right, what I'm saying? It. But no, that shit, you know. Let me play fan. What we got a child. And she know I love my daughter to fucking death. And mm. I motherfucking step on anybody about my kids. Question. Literally. I want to play fan for a second, but before I play that, I want to ask some real nigga shit. Mm -hmm. um, we had a conversation because I'm a, uh, I'm a stepdad. Whatever. So okay. I've been around. How does that feel? I've been there. <sighs> um, I feel like I'm a dad. I feel like that's my child. But how was it now? I'm, now you about to get on the hot seat. How was it when it's like you trying to gain a relationship with a kid that's not yours? Oh, it was hard. But it it was hard because one, she's a girl. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh. I, I would never disrespect her, her her father or nothing like that because it is what it is. Um. And plus, is that ain't none of my nigga? business. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I I should, but look, you can never put me in the hot seat. No. Let me I'm tell me. you about this though. How does it play? Whereas though, you feel like a dad. I don't feel the, like a dad. No, well, they showing you the same love as they would show their father. I, I thought you said it like I'm a dad. I'm, I am a dad. That's what I'm okay, telling you. Okay, but when it comes to you thinking mentally like you a dad, and then it comes to disciplinary shit. Oh, that's a good question. That's a great question. Yeah, that's why, that's why I'm acting, because I've been here. Okay, so in that situation, that's different from feeling. But yeah, so in that, I, I really take the lead of the, the mother. Mm -hmm. Be honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, so... Um, it's my first time. I'm not even gonna lie. So I don't even know. I feel like certain things you don't even know what you're gonna do until you in that situation. Exactly. So far as you uh, just ain't out there kicking ass and taking names. Yeah. So at hours, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I like this Izzy, bro. I like this nigga, bro. But in in that situation, you know, I take the lead of her. Yeah. Um, gotcha. But at the same time, let's be real though. Let's we can't ignore the, the double standards. Let's let's let's. I feel like if I had a daughter. I don't think I might I probably wouldn't be as What they call it Corporal punishment I probably wouldn't do Corporal punishment like that What you mean I don't know um, Corporal means. Kicking kicking your uh, child ass Like that's what it's called Getting beatings That's corporal oh, yeah. punishment I'm not, Yeah no I wasn't saying like that But But that's what I'm saying If I had a son Shit I probably would Kick that nigga ass You know what's crazy You know what's crazy I never I never beat I got two girls My daughter about to be five to, I mean seven My daughter about to be seven tomorrow and my motherfucking son is five. Mm. 
and but my youngest daughter is one. I never in my life would think about raising my hand on my daughters. Mm. My son, <laughs> I don't be. I'm not beating his ass. None of that shit. But if I gotta smack your hand or something, or like, pal, like, what the fuck you doing? Like, I'm gonna do that because it's like, you a boy. You gotta know how to be tough, bro. A nigga come outside and, and punch you in your shit, you gonna act like a bitch. Bro, first. Like, and, and literally, I don't wanna say it like that. And I don't want You already did it. It's mis- fine. Yeah, I don't want nobody mis- misconstrued. You already said it, though. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm Definitely. Right. No, no. I already said it. And I'm the type of nigga who stand on what I say. Whereas, though, my son gonna know, like, how to fight. Because I'm always be on his ass Like what's up Yeah come on Yo, You wanna fight boy Let's do it First of all Can we take a time Bro this conversation Got way deeper than Like it's supposed to got It's good no, though It's great it's supposed to do. This is great But they First of all me, Cause they be seeing All these other bitch ass niggas This is fire though So damn I had so much To talk about but God damn we gotta First of all I, I just gotta correct you In all due respect yeah. And I ain't trying to be that guy What they call niggas Sucks. No go ahead I like niggas call me on my Um, phone. Nah I'm talking for me I feel like you know We I can't I'm just as ignorant. I'm going to take my accountability firsthand. I'm ignorant as So fuck. I say that to say, I just said, if it was a son, I probably would. So it's hard to gauge because I'm a stepdaddy daddy to a, a daughter. That so it's really hard real. to, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to gauge what I would do in a situation where I have to discipline her. You know what I'm saying? Do I punish her ass? I try. I, I, and look, look, and I can tell this shit from 100% knowing. You don't never know. And one thing you going to learn is you going to learn through situations. Mm-hmm. Literally, nigga, one of my sisters, blood sister, came from the same mother, went in foster care because my father beat her. Mm. But he was beating all of us. But motherfucking, he beat her too bad. And motherfucking, she went to foster care. But that took a toll on my mind, whereas though I would never do that shit to, like, I would never even try to put my hands up to a girl because guess what? When he got that abuse charge, guess what else he got? Sexual assault mm. for pulling her pants down. Motherfucking all this other shit. So it's like, you know, some things you just got to learn from experience. And I'm always just tell you, bro, like, say, fuck it. Mm-hmm. You got to have that mentality like, yo, at the end of the day, I'm going to teach you how to be the most stand-up person I know for you to be. But if you go otherwise, I you you grown at this point. I can't tell you how to be a better person once you've grown. I taught you as much as I could while you was growing up. We on parenthood. <laughs> Literally, bro. Like bro, I didn't. It's like if my son come to me, I'm telling him all his fucking life. Bro, that's not the way you got to go. I done did that, bro. I done did everything you want to do. Don't do it. Then he 18 and he go outside and blast a nigga. And it's like all I can do is be there for you, bro, because I done told you. I told you, all I can do is be there for you, answer them calls, send you money, get you a lawyer, do what I can do. But nigga, I told you. What the bro, fuck? First of all, I see you. What I'm supposed to do, be right It's hot as shit. Take the gun from you? I got y'all, bro. I know it's hot as a bitch. We open the windows, bro. But I, I, I laugh because I, I really wasn't expecting this conversation to go here. And it's a good thing, but I want to ask you, being a parent, mm-hmm. depending on where you at, Yeah. I don't, I don't know what you want to answer this. If... How do you feel about children choosing their sexuality nowadays? Because you see, oh, with the homos when they like be waiting them. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I feel like look. <laughs> I feel like this. This bro. nigga is crazy. I feel like at the end of the day, no, I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a completely a bean. I'm gonna be a honey, nigga. My daughters. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> really? I didn't peep that. He said thanks. <laughs> no, said, thanks. but it's just like Thank my you. son. My son can be gay too. Mm. And son, don't do that. Cause I'm not, uh, you know, like. But it's like don't do that. But at the same time, it's just like if you are and you're mentally secure enough to know that you want to be, mm. that's not going to make me love you any less. Cause nigga, you my son. Mm. I'm not going to say I could agree with everything you're doing. And I'm def I'm going to definitely let you know and express to you that I highly disagree. Mm. But motherfucking, I I can't bash you for being yourself if that's who you really feel like you want to be. And when you're at that mental state where you know that's what you want to be at, Damn. I'm going to love you. But I'm gonna be like, bro, you can't talk to me about your relationship problems. Why not? 
Cause I don't know how another nigga act. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't know how would this nigga treat you like. Okay. But hopefully, my nigga. But you would my, still accept your son. What? I? That's my son. Mm. Nigga, he came from me. And if a nigga, if anybody else play with him, it's up. Mm. And I'm gonna make jokes about him all day. I'm gonna make jokes about that shit all now, day. Now I ask because what? like we I be s- talking to my niggas and shit like and nigga just fuck this bitch da da da. And he be like, oh come around for real, y'all just. What? You don't know shit about that, boy. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> you don't know nothing. No, I ask that because you know, like how we see things before we become parents is so different. It's way different. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like I always was on like that shit. I ain't gonna lie, mentally I was always on that shit wrong. But when I had a kid and I Yo, sat there, try to turn it off, bro. I don't know, dog. Like it's y'all, bad, y'all, bro. Y'all you could try to turn it. Now I feel you, bro. I, I'm high as shit too. If you could try to turn it on, I, I don't know if it's here or something. I think, bro, if you can figure some shit out, I'm with you. I oh, appreciate it. I just you. feel like I have nothing against nobody gay. Like, they do what they do. It might be in the other room, I though. I know people that's gay. It, it might be in the other room. My bad. My bad, Izzy, bro. It's bad in here. It's bad. It's real bad. Sheesh. Thank you. Got you. Yeah, but uh, my bad, Izzy. Go ahead. You were saying if you. You know, no, I was just saying, like, I know people that's gay. Like, like, I never had nothing against nobody. Like, you could do your thing. And it's like, I come around, what's up? Dap y'all up, keep it moving. Just don't bring it to me, because, like, if you know that I ain't with that, then, you know, Respect. don't, don't you know, bring that shit towards me. Let me ask you this. I want to play. Um, do your thing as much as you want. I told you I want to be a, a fan for a second. Mm-hmm. Um, Because I'm not, like, I don't really be following, like, the blog sites and shit like that, but I know me the, you had a relationship with um Zonik, right? Yeah, That's Zonique. T.I. How's it? How's it? Zonique. Zonique. Yeah. T.I. daughter. Mm-hmm. Me being a fan. Okay. How did that not help your career at all? Like far as her father being T.I. and having all the, the industry connect. Like did you ever try to, to I get like, any? I feel like everybody in her family reached out to me and motherfucking was open arms. Mm. You know, they all, they all, it's all love. But everybody on that side, I'm talking about from tip to motherfucking the the youngest child, it was all love. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, well, it's still love. Like, you know, it's not like king, past tense young, shit. Yeah, king, not, yeah, not 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 king. I'm talking about down the airs. Oh shit! Like, you know, I might see and say, hey, but motherfucking like it's love. They never motherfucking um shunned me or treated me other than. I felt like I learned them words from him, but motherfucking they never. <laughs> 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 but I feel like you know, like they never they that never was treated me other than for real, like. They always came with open arms and shit. Whereas though, but it was never a capital a, a, a way to time. capitalize off of a situation. Mm. Anything we was doing was separate. Mm. The only thing that was really big for us was our child, and really it was a blessing towards me and her. So it was like, other than that, what else did we do? So you never try to get a feature from my pops or nothing? No, nah, but he motherfucking he motherfucking definitely came and said he would. Damn. But it's like, it's just never happened. Like, I never went to him and said, I want a song or none of that shit. Because at the end of the day, if you're a man and you want somebody to respect you for what you do, you're not asking for help. You're doing it, and then you'll meet him where he need to be. And like, let's do something now. I'm not about to be like, bro, give me a, t- give me a, give me a um, feature. Because blah, blah. then you're going to look at me like I'm one of them niggas. I'm not one of them niggas. I'm one of them niggas where as though I'd be broke and struggling before I ask for help. Why I though, bro? Because I don't. I. I like. It feel better when you get it. It, it, it feel does, better when you do it from that. But standpoint. if you ask, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. That's why I'm different from a lot of these niggas. I'm DMing nigga hundred times. Yeah, it depends on what to you get an interview for. or whatever. It depends on what you're asking for. Like, if you already got your thing going on, you ask a nigga to come to an interview. That's cool. But I'm not about to be here and be begging a nigga that's here to motherfucking do it. Whereas though I ain't proved nothing yet. You already got what you got going. I didn't prove nothing yet, even though I feel like, or we can all feel like, oh, I done what I done in the city. What did he, what did Tip know about Baltimore? What do he know about Baltimore except the why? He don't know no rappers come from Baltimore except for niggas who's coming up now. Whereas though, I'm not about to sit here and basically say like this, get a feature because I fuck with your daughter. Fuck out of here, nigga. I get a feature when you want to do a feature with me, even though I was a fan of your music. I'm always. I get asking. a feature when you want to do it with me. I'm always gonna shoot my shot because when they come to the point, always gonna shoot my shot. Who that nigga is he? 
I need a song with him. That's when you're gonna do the feature, not just because it might help you out. No. So what about yo? I'll pay you for a feature. That's not that's not like no. a handout. Not near never. Not near never. Sheesh. Paying. I'm not paying. I'm not about to. I've been through there, and I'm not saying he's not worth paying because he is. He's a fucking superstar. But motherfucker, I'm not paying a nigga for a feature when I feel like when I get to that level, you're gonna want to do it. Mm. I've been there with niggas. I've been here and got there and then got there and want to go there. You feel me? Like, motherfucking, I done been here and, man, fucking, um, what's the nigga who did that song? Where I said, What's the nigga who um did the fucking song? The, um, when we was in the M MMP fucking, um, Lil Tay. He had, a, he was turnt in the city. Bye bye with Lil Nay and all them niggas. Oh, yeah, Tay. Yeah. He moved to Atlanta, yeah. yeah. So Rap, motherfucking, yeah. take so swag. So yeah, swag. To, yeah, so swag. Motherfucking, we used to bump that shit. We used to go crazy. We used to love it. Motherfucking, I reached out for a feature. I'm broke. I'm talking about fucked up. Living in his basement. I'm going to school from his shit. My lights cut out and shit. I don't got nothing. To do. I'm going to school from his shit. His mother waking me up. We rapping and shit. And I want a feature from Lil Tay. The, uh, I don't uh, go on his Instagram. It's a fucking um, email. Email. Fucking. I don't know how much the fucking feature was. It was like 50. It was like $500, I think. I don't know. Motherfucking I'm like damn It's too much <laughs> Then I get turned You hit me for a feature mm. And I'm the type of nigga Bro I, I respect you I seen what you got going on I'm do that shit for all the love You don't gotta pay me nothing You gotta ask him He ain't pay me nothing for a feature And I pull up to the video In your spot In your hood mm. But it's just because like Nigga I've been there I came here And I'm not gonna act like I don't recognize That you influenced me a little bit So I'll get there I'm not about to pay you. I mm. get there. But you charge for features, right? I mean, you might not even charge Tay, but I mean, if a nigga reach out, oh, do you want... Yeah, for sure. I don't, got no, I don't know you. I don't know nothing about you. Yeah, I'm going to charge you, but I always show love. Respect. I'm not saying with the price. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, he could have showed you some love. Question, let me ask you about this. What happened to D1? Oh, um, that shit just out the window. Like, literally... I just told you we came back from the funeral. Like, motherfucking, the owner of D1, Omar, he was there. Me and him, we mended all problems we had. We solved every everything. And we I could call him now and be like, bro, I need advice with this, this, and that. But that shit is over with. Really, it was Omar, just motherfucking. He he um was more so he knew he knew something about the music, but he didn't know everything. And he was more so trying to change niggas' lives. Mm. He recognized me in the street. Recognized all the other artists. I don't even, you know, in the streets. So it's like they trying to, he trying to help them out. So he doing everything he can to help them out. But other than that, that shit went left because he didn't really know that much about the music industry. But I feel like, I mean, again, but as an outsider, it looked like he was doing a great job with y'all niggas. He, he was doing a great job. He was excelling forward. Even though he didn't know that much, he learned quick. He's a smart nigga. But it's just like, at the end of the day, Niggas like me and artists and shit, we wanna when we looking up to somebody or looking at somebody, we wanna make this shit make sense and get to a certain level. And we tend to think too quick and wanna move too quick. So it's like if we don't see us getting there too fast, nigga be like, fuck this shit. Mm. Whereas though at the same time, he's still making relationships and building bonds, whereas though we supposed to build together. But really it was just like a whole fucked up situation. I really honestly, honestly on my kids. I don't even remember how that shit ended. But I know that shit ended. Now, that's why I was asking, like, was it any, like, animosity between the artists? Because, like, even when you say, like, you re you, you relate to them as you kind of, like, and anybody else that was in it. No, I feel like ain't no animosity. That nobody in it. Me and Crazo, me and him, like my brother. Like, literally, I call him for that anything. That nigga Crazo had. I never remember the first time I Man. met Yo, that nigga is niggas, different. Though. But he one of them niggas you could go to Virginia and, and besides the rap shit, they gonna know who Crazo is. That nigga different. But other than that, Will he cool? Like that's my brother, Will. But like other than that, it's just like, um, what? Why? I'm trying. I don't understand. Like I thought y'all niggas was tight. Why you think that? Because we was around each other. That's like thinking everybody on QC is bros. <laughs> niggas don't like each other. Damn. I don't feel like it. They just got to be around each other. They signed by each other. What's going like on? They, sign, they just sometimes they put them in the same building because it look good. Mm. Other than that, it's just like man, you make it not my game. 
I understand. What's going on now, man? What you got going on? Shit, What's up? I'm really just trying to establish myself again. Mm. Honestly. I was on some self happiness shit. Like trying to find out things that make me happy in myself. Whereas they'll stop looking to other people for happiness. Damn. Because if you look for other people for happiness when they when they leave your life, you're not happy no more. Mm. And literally you gotta be happy within yourself and love yourself enough to without anybody, you could be sitting in a room in the dark by yourself and still smile. So I, this is a conversation that I like to have on and off camera, right? Yeah. And it it's just unfortunate that like your your situation, everybody know. You mm -hmm. feel me? But the question I'm about to ask don't have nothing to do with it being a celebrity or not. Yeah. You come into that conclusion, understanding the love of yourself. How did you get there? Was it from your niggas or was it from No, nah, I got there from I got there from dealing with depression my whole life. Like literally when I was in high school, I had to if anybody who deal with depression knows about Lexapro, I had to take Lexapro, anxiety depression medicine. Like motherfucking that shit is supposed to help you because I went to the doctors and all them shits and they said I was anxious and I was depressed. So I took medicine for that shit. But at the same time, it's like that shit wasn't doing nothing but making me nauseous. That shit wasn't making me less depressed. Like motherfucking that shit just I was depressed and I was numb to being depressed. Damn. Fuck it. But it's like, really, it's just coming to find out like who around you that makes you really happy. Like I can look back literally and genuinely say, when I see these people, I be happy. Like I'm good. And that's what really fucked me up. Whereas though I was looking for happiness in other people. When I buy myself, I really be depressed. That's why I go to I go to the bar by myself and drink. Cause like I be okay. Once I start drinking, I be cool. But motherfucking I can't sit around. I can't say I, I can't now because I done did shit mentally, whereas though I feel a different way. But motherfucking, I can't say, I couldn't say that I sit around and be happy with myself. Mm. I like to come here. I used to be here all uh, every other, every month, every other month, just trying to hang with the gang and da, 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 do shit because they make me happy. I don't like being around myself because I know I'd be snapping on shit. Damn. So... With the uh, the medicine they was giving you for Lexus. depression, yeah, right? Anxiety, depression. for anxiety, for anxiety, you said it just make you numb to it. That shit, that shit made me nauseous as fuck. Like I, I take it in the morning and shit. That shit make me nauseous. Like before I went to school, mm -hmm. shit made me nauseous. Like when I was in twelfth grade, that's when I first got on that shit. That shit made me nauseous. Going through that, and then it's like you um, say you talking to me, mm -hmm. and I hear everything you saying, but I just process it slow. Mm -hmm. Like I, be, you might be like, yo. Um, you good? And it'd be like, yeah, like it's like, damn, I'm late as shit with everything. Like it's like you hearing shit slow. So outside of the me medicine, you going through that, um, f first handedly, right? Like, mm -hmm. um, outside of the medicine, how do somebody get to a place where they can be happy without the medicine? I just feel like you got to experience different shit. Like literally, this year is the first time I ever been on a water slide. Mm. Cause I don't, I, I'm not, I can't really swim. Motherfucking, I'm scared of shit that's going fast. I don't get on roller coasters. My anxiety fuck with me. But I'm just stepping out my box, and I went on the water slide. That shit was so fucking fun. And I'm like, damn, I could have been doing this shit. It's just trying new shit and just really learning yourself. You got to overcome your fears and shit and make yourself the person you want to be. You can't just sit and wait for that shit to come to you because that shit ain't never going to come to you. Damn, bro. Um, You about to drop? What you about to drop when you dropping? Let me know all no, that. I, I mean, shit, I, ain't, I don't know when I'm about to drop. Nigga, something about to drop. I don't know when. Yeah, no. But it's coming know, soon. You Fuck know it. That shit, that shit be a process. Like, that shit, you got to pray producers and shit like that. Mm. Like, you know, you got to appreciate the producers. You got to make cover art. You got to motherfucking do this shit. But I literally work harder than anybody I know when it comes to music, except for TZ, literally, because he be in the studio with me every day. Damn. That's the only motherfucker nigga I know that work on the he same in the time with as you? me. Yeah. Just yeah, he live in A. But motherfucking, that's the only nigga I know that work on the same time as me, because we had a means to. We record... Whenever the fuck we want to. And it's damn there every day. If niggas ain't, you know, mixing around. Yo, I'm in the A now. I mean, if if it's if it's anything I got help out with, bro, I'm at your disposable, bro. I, I definitely appreciate this conversation. This shit, um I love when I have conversations like this with guys like you. And I mean by that is like I just wasn't expecting 
this great of a conversation. Like, no, nah, a lot of people don't expect that shit because my image is, is people tend to um judge you. Intimidate you, nigga. You a gay like you? Well, nah, I mean, no, nah, I mean, yeah, you an actor. Me. Like, you feel but me? you know what's crazy? <laughs> about my skin and shit, and niggas still find me intimidating just by my aura that I give. Off. I mean, come on, because nigga. I've been, I been used to being played with so much <laughs> as a child. I come with that. Don't play with him. Activity. Oh, you can't like no, you can't, can't be mad at niggas for not like what the fuck you expect, nigga. No, but no, for real, I slapped the shit out of one of you of niggas. Course. No, for real. <laughs> like I'm really so willing to slap the shit out of niggas. No, please can I we love stop? You. No, no. It feel good. I like to feel nigga face on my palm. No, bro. You can't. <laughs> no, I'm getting on some bullshit. Damn, that was I'm bad. Bullshit, <laughs> niggas said pause. No, but look. What I said, nigga face. Oh yeah, that's gay as fuck. <laughs> That's yo, yo, can we just? I yo. like the feel of. No, no way. <laughs> so yo, this man is get this nigga out of here, that's bro. That's the two. That's that's the two. Dumb. Fuck yo. that shit. I like the really. Yeah, I like the short nigga. He can't. Yeah, yo, we get no, you, bro. We get no. you. We get, we get you, bro. We get you. We get you. Yo, can, all I'm saying is, big big delete homie. That, delete that part. Now we ain't deleting that, <laughs> big homie. All I'm saying is, can we just keep this, bro? All that shit. But I feel like you meant that shit at the end. But bro, like I just want niggas to just step away from it, step by step. Uh, time, I, I know it's gonna take time, sure. but all that shit, bro. Like we don't got shit to prove, bro. Like you bad hunter, Izzy. Like bro, like you shining, you looking good. Like you, bro, you, bro. You don't, you know what I'm saying? Like all that Look, shit. This is what I'm saying. I don't got shit to prove. I got shit to protect. At the end of the day, I know my niggas want to stand up and protect this shit, but walk um, away. The more That's the it. Mar- Leave the it more, alone. The more the merrier, and, and, still and strength is in fucking numbers. So. They might they might lose with nine niggas, but me just being that tenth nigga, they gonna win. Oh Simple my god, as that. bro! All right, all right, <laughs> whatever. I, I'm gonna try to play Captain Save All every time, all the time in the city, but niggas is gonna do what the fuck. I'm just saying, somebody gotta put the, somebody gotta make that a quote. All right, man. they gotta put that on the band on the mother. They gotta put that shit on the real nigga quotes and shit. Yo, I appreciate. They might you. lose with nine, but I'm be the tenth. Woo! Yo, I, yo, Izzy, I appreciate you, dog, for real. I man. appreciate you, brody. Great conversation, man, Mr. J Hill, Band Hunter, Izzy. Is yes, love, gang. Ah.